before it's too late. Fifteen years ago, Carl Jones was sent to Mauritius to close down the project to save the Mauritius Kestrel. Even the World Wildlife Fund had lost hope, but Carl refused to give up on it, and he's still in Mauritius today. Just 20 years ago, this was the world's rarest bird, when there was only four individuals left in the wild. Many people thought it was doomed to extinction. But thanks to captive breeding, we've been able to restore the species in the wild. In total, we've released 284 birds. And from those released birds, we now have 50 to 55 pairs breeding in the wild. We only need to release kestrels for one more season before we'll be able to leave them recover on their own. This has been a wonderful conservation exercise, but it's been a lot more than that, because these birds are my friends and I've got to know them personally. And some of them are very friendly. Come on. Come on. Good girl. And the nice thing about that kestrel is that I've known it since it was an egg. But not only that, I knew its parents and I also knew its grandparents. So I've been able to follow a lot of these, these birds through as if they were my own children. Using the dodo as its symbol, Gerald Durrell's Jersey Wildlife Preservation Trust has been a major supporter of the Mauritian's fight to save its wildlife. We will never be able to get Mauritius back to as it was before man. But, I mean, my belief is that we're talking about the heritage of the Mauritian people. We are there helping them do the very best we can with what's left. One of the different things about all of our projects is that they're all done in partnership with the government of that country. It involves our training program. It involves our staff going overseas. And the training program's very first graduate was a Mauritian. I followed a course of 10 months in Jersey. There, it was a very enriching course where I worked in the, differ in the different sections of reptiles, birds, and mammals. And of course, special attention were given to species which are present in Mauritius and which Jersey were breeding successfully. The, the likely problems that can occur... Uh, After studying in Jersey, Canadian well, university like student indeed. Monica Robel is doing her field training in Mauritius. One of the animals she's working with is the Rodrigues fruit bat. This bat has been saved from extinction by a captive breeding program at the Mauritian government's captive breeding center in Black River. However, this type of success can only be achieved with collaboration between governments and international organizations like the Jersey Wildlife Preservation Trust. One of the major successes has been the pink pigeon. Once down to just 12 individuals, it's now on the road to recovery. The pink pigeon, I, I, I've been working with the pink pigeon since 1976. And I'm quite convinced it's hell-bent on its own extinction. If you give a pink pigeon a decision to make, it'll make the wrong one every single time. Bet money on it. Um, incompatibility of pairs. We had one female. We tried her on 17 different occasions with a partner before she would accept it. The problem is, in the forest, you know, pink pigeons fly around and pick each other. You know, we look in the stud book and say, ah, oh, well, this one ought to be mated with that one now because we're worried about the gene lines, etc., etc." When you think of how rare these animals are, you can't get lots of good scientific data overnight, and in fact, it'll take you 20 or 30 years. So if you're saying, well, we can't really start our conservation until we understand about the biology of the birds, you're never going to start because they're going to become extinct before you actually start your conservation. So you have to start with a feel for them, with intuition. So we have a team of very good biologists who live with the animals, and the animals become their friends. So they understand what's, what's going wrong with them. They understand them intuitively. With the pink pigeon, this has worked very well. We've bred a large number in captivity, and we've been releasing them into the wild. They're now beginning to breed. We've had problems in that a number of the youngsters have died or haven't made it or a lot of the nests have failed. 
but we're beginning to understand what's going wrong with that species and we are killing predators. We're killing cats, rats, keeping monkeys away from nests. These monkeys are crab-eating macaques. Introduced from Asia, they may look cute, but they steal the bird's precious eggs. Monkeys aren't the only problem. Like so many other places in the world, feral cats are a major predator, as are introduced mongooses. Got a cat. Pretty excited about that. Wow. Big male. Is that the one you think has been killing the pigeons? Maybe. Well, we got the female a few months ago. Right? Yeah. So, um... Mm. Good lord. Been trying to get him for months, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you got some mongooses? Yeah. Great. This cat was trapped by the Mauritian Wildlife yeah, Appeal Fund well. workers. A controversial yeah, step, chance, but if endemic them. species are to be brought Originally, back from the brink of eternity, yeah, sure. then introduced well, animals well, have to be exterminated, or at the very least, controlled. It's this aspect of endangered species management Monica and other would-be conservationists have to come to terms with. Not only destroying feral animals, but dissecting them to see what damage they've done. If we're ever going to understand the problem that pink pigeons have, we've got to understand the predators. We've got to understand the enemy. OK. The stomach's actually quite full. Hmm. Great. You never know what you're going to find. Okay, now, what I'll do is I'm going to wash these contents and I'll come back and put them in that bowl. Great. Wow, look at that. We've got all sorts of things in here. You can see there's lots of spines here. This is a tenric. These are introduced mammals that um, come from Madagascar. They're fairly common in the forest. Ah, they are. This is tough there. It's a bit like opening presents on Christmas Day. <laughs> Don't know quite what you're going to get. God, this is a nice, healthy animal, isn't it? OK, here it goes. Hmm, this is really interesting because we've got lots of bird bits in here. So it seems likely that this cat is one of the ones that's been causing all the problems eating the pink pigeons in the pigeon wood. So it's good we got him. But we've lost about a dozen pigeons in the last year. Mm. And that's something like a third of the wild population. So it's a, it's a hell of a lot of, um, of birds have, have disappeared. <laughs>